Hello everybody. Welcome to another video, part of the aquarium series. So we're gonna do a fish species profile. Today we're talking about the Colombian tetra or the red and blue Colombian tetra. It's one of the newer tetras to the trade. It um, can now be found pretty much in every local fish store around. It's originally from the Akandi River in Northwest Colombia. <clears throat> so its natural habitat is Northwest Colombia's with slow moving tributaries. I have a little higher water flow than normal in my aquarium and they do just fine. So it's generally a hardy and adaptable fish. It lives between three to five years. It is a voracious eater. It's a pig. They bully and take all the food they can get before anybody else can get it, even above the angel fishes. They are definitely a mid-level fish. I'd say they hang out in the mid-level most of the day. They will go around the bottom some, and of course to the top to eat. They prefer neutral to slightly acidic water. I'd say between at least 6.0 to 7.5. I'd say they do better in the 6.5, 6.7 range, personally. Um, Temperature-wise, like most of your Tetras, they'll do fine in 74 to probably 82 degrees, maybe even a little hotter. I keep it warm in this tank, 80, 81 degrees. And they seem to do better in the higher temperatures as opposed to the 76, 74, 78 range. They seem to do a little better. I personally can't sex them yet. I have seen them chase each other and spawn, but it seems like the bigger ones are the males, but they don't have any telltale sign of how to tell the male from the female that I can guess, other than the size. It seems to be that the females tend to be a little bit smaller. Um. The breeding part of it is just like all the other fish, you, all your other tetras like this, the South American species. You raise the temp up to 80 degrees. You have a lot of fine plants, the pygmy chainsaw, the broadleaf chainsaw, just the thicket of plants underneath. And they'll spawn and you just, you could separate them if you wanted to. Me personally, I just hope for the best. So, I haven't had any deaths. They, so they seem to be, be a very hardy fish. As you can see from the video, their tails and trim of the, t of the dorsal fins are red and they have a bluish hue on the top of their body. These personally have survived the ick epidemic that got under control relatively quickly and they did just fine with no deaths. I had a few of them actually lost a few scales and they survived. So let me know your personal experiences with Colombian Tetris or any questions you have. And uh, thanks for watching.